Hey, Samson, I overheard Andrew Jacked saying that he was going to get a better placing than you at the Olympia this year. Say what? I'm just joking. Just trying to stir the pot between Andrew Jacked and Samson Dota. We're going to take a look at the Texas Pro 2024 Andrew Jacked and Samson Dota here at the Prague, but we're also going to peruse the Arnold Classic version, the one that he won 2023, not 2024, but I believe that he was probably at his best here at the Prague Pro. Furthermore, eh, it's been quite some time since I did a comparison between Andrew Jack and Samson Dota, take you by surprise and make you realize Amanda and Steve. But anyway, but anyway, yes, it's not December yet. Late December, that is. Go through these shots. Uh, I am sorry that I confused some of you guys. Go through these shots, and I will be honest on where I think that these guys will stand at the Olympia if they bring these two packages. Arms. Wow. So impressed with Andrew Jack. Unbelievable. Now, he was overshadowing everybody else in just size stature. I don't think he's going to play that game with Samson Dota. He is huge, Samson. But having said that, um, I just think it's too much in the arms, which is crazy when you think about it, because rewind back to the Arnold Classic. If I'm not mistaken, Andrew Jack is losing in the arm department here, which is crazy. And he is tilting thusly to his, now he's doing much like Samson is doing the pose, which puts him in the hunt more. And obviously he didn't have maybe the armor to do that in the arm department. I mean, Samson, I think he's always going to win in the forearms. Biceps, uh, triceps are a little bit longer down there for, for Samson Dota. Now I think the match that would be the most interesting, and this would be best case Ontario for both dudes, is these two versions, which would be Texas Pro 2024. Look at them arms, mate. And the 2023 Arnold Classic. I get that confused with 2022. It's 2023 Arnold Classic here for Samson Dota. And this is a matchup. Andrew, with those newfound arms, wherever he, wherever he got those from, I'm telling you right now, he's beating Samson in that aspect. Samson has a lot of presence here. He does. Gifts, too, as in presence. Presence on stage plus gifts. He has those quads. My soul, my soul. Maybe bigger, maybe drier. It's going to be a good one, guys. Of course, there's no guarantee. They're both going to look like this. Here's the front lat spread. And I still say this Prog Pro version of Samson, he was just as big as he was at the Arnold, maybe even a dice more conditioned. Hard to say. Very wide. He's holding his own against Andrew Jacked. You guys are probably thinking at home, but Mark's Max Muscle, you have gone and done it again. You have missized it. My day is ruined. But anyway, yes, Samson is a mass of muscle. Have a look at the two at the Arnold Classic. Now, granted, granted, poor, poor Andrew Jack. What happened to him here? Very tired, perhaps. Wheels look good against Samson, but Samson, obviously, twice as wide. Little more separation in the abs uh, for Andrew Jack's credit, but I don't think... Some people realize just how big of a unit the Samson Dota really is. But it's not really fair, is it, to use this poor old rundown version of Andrew Jack. Here is... The, I sound so terrible. Here is the Texas Pro. It's rundown compared to this version here. But I suppose almost anybody is, aren't they? I'd give this one to Jack, even though I think if you... Turn the lights down low, shine a flashlight on them. I think that uh, Samson's silhouette would be a little bit wider. Because he's a beast. Maybe even winning in the legs. Jeez Louise, I'll be darned. Andrew Jack has improved a lot, a lot, a lot. 
turn to the side here, and it is a close one coming out of the front. Was I giving Andrew Jack an edge at both shots? I wouldn't say that. I mean, if it's a blowout in both shots compared to what we just seen, I don't think that's the same thing. I also suggest that Samson Douda is just too darn much for just about anybody. If he had a little more separation from delt to bicep, which he has improved over the years, so obviously he's doing what he needs to do, as Saunch says, due diligence. But yes, much thicker. I don't think that Andrew Jacked would stand a chance in the side chest. And here is the Arnold Classic version. And no, he's not using the other arm. I flipped it around. <laughs> to keep Andrew Jacked on the same side. Noam sing, so sing. Eri, eri. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a closed case. Case closed. Samson wins side chest. I think it's more dominant than any of the front shots. Maybe. Maybe. What about these side tricep when they both have to hit the manion pose position? Hmm, very interesting. I think for the most part, both of these guys used to go against the manion pose rules. I think from the side, Samson's just too thick. In the wheels, he, he's holding one leg up, and I think that creates more thickness in the leg. Andrew Jack could do that too. He's holding his far leg straight, as is Samson. So having said that, big, huge chest advantage from the side. Does this great big Brit, this Samson Douda, and maybe a slight edge in the dryness and the quads as well. The arms are very different. More separation, bubbly round for Andrew Jack, but more of a form-fitted side tricep pose. I think for Samson Dota. But very close. Close actually in the front. Close actually in the side. So you could argue and say it's a tie game. Going into the back. What a matchup. And I can hear you. No, I already did that one. I already did that one in this video. Ah, what the heck. One more time. But Mark's Max Muscle, this is a bad picture of Samson. He is not opened up. You know what? I would tend to agree. For some strange reason, the last oh, last year or so or more, Samson hasn't really been opening up in that lat spread as much as he used to. Now, is Andrew beating him? No, I would give the victory to Samson Dota. Now hold on before you hit that thumbs down. I think that he does have some nice thick lat insertions. Just raw meat. And I think he can open up a little bit better than this. But ultimately, he is more conditioned. He is another level, I believe. Judging by these pitchers, and I wasn't there, obviously, at the Texas or at the Prague, but going by pitchers, Samson is slightly more conditioned, I would suggest. Now here is the both... At the uh, the Arnold Classic, come on, Billy. And Samson, he's bending at the knees quite a bit more here. So I made him a little bit shorter. He was holding his legs a little straighter at the, at the prog. But I think this shows how wide that big old Andrew Jack really is in the rear lot spread. And it is a pose if he is con as conditioned as Samson. If he brings this here, this here version in terms of size... Thickness in the lats, plus some more condition. Because even from these pitchers, you can see so much more separation for Samson Douda. And no, separation does not mean condition. But I mean, okay, here's the rear double. Here's the rear double. And yes, you can take a close look at the hammies, glutes, things of that nature. Samson... He never had those striated glutes, and neither does Andrew Jack. That's why it's a very interesting matchup. But ultimately, and I think if you talk to the experts, some bodybuilders that actually are judges, things of that nature, that actually seen these two versions of these two guys, or a similar version of Samson, they'd probably say Douda usually always, or he does always beat 
Andrew Jack because he is that much more peeled from behind. Now, is that worth more than Andrew Jack being more separated from the front point of view? Well, I guess um, Samson taking Jack from the side might even things out. But here's the thing. What about the last two shots? Beginning, of course, or featuring the Absinthi, starring Andrew Jack. Yes, what about those last two shots? Is it enough to sway the judges? The abs and thigh. Nobody. And not even Samson. Not even Samson would vote for himself in this abs and thigh. I mean, it's not a tragedy or anything like that. And ultimately, yes, Samson. <laughs> He goes into the, the side, the crouching abs and thigh. And as long as you flash us a little something-something from the front, double arm, a la Derek uh, Lunsford, come on, Derek, you go flash us a two-arm overhead abs and thigh, you can hit the other ones afterwards, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Absolutely not. Nobody, aside from maybe Hattie Shupin, is touching Andrew Jack in this. And even if he refines it, I guess it's pretty refined. He might be able to take Hattie. Definitely beating Andrew or uh, Samson Douda. Rather, don't need to analyze that pose. And I think the most muscular could be the same thing, except opposite winners. You see, Andrew Jacked, the new way that he hits this shot, I like it. it sh I like it. Hey, Mikey, I think he likes it. It's a midsection... He's revealing the midsection. I'm sorry, I started thinking about them old commercials. <laughs> wow, wow. Yeah, versus a little bit of a Cassis, I have to say. But Mark's Max Muscle, that's a three-peat for you guys. You guys have been in this video three times, but what about the Arnold Classic? His midsection was be... Oh, never mind. Yeah, yeah. And you can search the entire net. These are the pitchers that are available. I don't think they just cherry-picked him sticking his belly out, did they? Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, it kind of is a tough call, but you go through different types of most musculars. And yes, Andrew Jacked, he's winning in the abs for sure. But I don't think that he's very dominant in the quads. You could argue he's winning in the quads. I would probably argue and say the other way around. There's a thick density of... Samson Douda's quads, but in the arms, in the, at least in this shot, that front double, Jack did amazing things, but in a shot like this, side chest, things of that nature, I think Samson is going to, he's going to win the most musculars, he's going to win the side shots, probably, and he's going to win the conditioning, he's going to win the conditioning of both back shots, Jack is going to win the first two, and the abs and thigh, and maybe squeeze one of the other ones out? Maybe. I doubt it. I doubt it. Listen, these guys are structurally very similar, both very aesthetically pleasing, and it's a, a very close matchup, and then it's, it's a toss-up. And in that sense, they're going to go with the guy more conditioned, I think, from behind, things of that nature, glutes, hamstrings, and I know some people just hate to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Come Olympia time there. Yeah. I think that Samson, he is going to show, always brings his A game to the Olympia. Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? <laughs> Let me know who's winning. Who's winning this comparison? Who's winning at the Olympia? Let me know. Have a great one, guys.